She was like, <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah. Hi. Maybe take a step back. Split it up, break it up. Break it up. Trouble. <laughs> Linda, did you bring this? Where's your phone at, man? There's a couple of bands. Okay, folks, glad you came. Uh, 2023 Huntington Pickleball Club information today. I want to uh, get Pastor up here. Pastor. Give Pastor a round of applause. I'm the only pastor on this pickleball club, so it's reason why he calls me. Okay? God bless every one of y'all. What'd you say? I thought you were going to get most improved. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> Come on, get the sermon. Could just bow your head. <laughs> Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, for this another day. Thank you for this pickleball club. Thank you for this family. And we thank you how you're watching over us, Lord, keeping us from getting hurt. And we just love you. We praise you. We thank you for our leader that you give us, Lord. We thank you for the, the welcome that we all have for each other. 
In Jesus' name I pray and everybody said Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. How in the world does this thing work? Get up here. <laughs> Just look over. Okay, we'll try to get this done in 45 minutes to an hour, hopefully. We'll talk fast. Um, uh, how many new people? Please raise your hand if you're a new person. Look around, folks. Look at this. Give my hand. Uh, and that's just the people that showed up today, so that's good. Okay? Um, big thanks to Lloyd McGuffin. He's not here. He's sick. He's in another room. He's keeping all you all from being sick by staying in his own little room. But Lloyd got this place for us to do okay there we go again how's that how come it keeps kicking off because i have uh, i'm gonna give you a quick history uh myself and how things got started in 2019 june i got started playing pickleball i did what most all y'all did you went and bought two paddles for twenty dollars uh two wooden paddles from dicks okay I had a couple balls to go with them and uh called my best friend Vic and I said, come on, we're gonna play pickleball tomorrow. He said, I don't, what is pickleball? I have no clue what pickleball is. And I said, well, uh, I'm 35 pounds overweight and I'm gonna lose some weight, okay? So I got him out on the court the next day. We played singles. If, who who has, has played singles in here? You can lose some weight if you play singles. And I played every day. And uh, I lost 35 pounds like <coughs> probably by September, okay? So that was a good thing for me. But then I got to where I said, whoa, this is kind of fun. Maybe I, I, maybe I need to compete a little bit. So then I got into a tournament. I just wanted to see where I was. And, and I won a singles event in uh, Portsmouth, <coughs> uh, a seniors regional tournament. And so that let me know, hey, this is okay. And so then, of course, COVID hit the next year or so. Uh, things you know, slowed down. We had to go play it. Uh, people's tennis courts and draw lines on them and stuff like that. But we played pickleball. So, but nobody was playing when I got started. Uh, Nick, uh, everybody know Nick? Raise your hand. Yeah. Nick had a thing going every Saturday. Uh, they were playing. But there wasn't hardly 10 people. Maybe 12 people showed up every Saturday. And then I got playing. I said, man, I want to compete in tournaments. I want. So I started calling people that like to compete and said, look, you need to learn this pickleball. And they said the same thing. What's pickleball? <laughs> I'm like, well, you just come out and play. And so that's all happened since, since now. Okay, so that's how we got to where we are today. Okay, we decided we need to get a league going. People like to have fun, uh, to compete. And uh, so that's what we did. Okay, I encourage every one of you in this room that's been playing for a little bit, remember when you got started out on the pickleball court and you're all frustrated. Y'all ever get there? Frustrated, you can't hit that shot, you missed a shot. You didn't do that in the beginning. I don't remember seeing any of y'all getting upset because you missed a shot in the beginning. You had fun. Go back to the fun part. Now, I love having fun, but I like to compete too, but you can compete and have fun at the same time. Trust me, you can have fun, okay? But you miss a shot, forget it, it's over, it's done, okay? Um, so, uh, I don't know what reason you're going to play pickleball, but hopefully it'll be maybe the exercise, maybe the fun, maybe the competition, maybe all of it wrapped up in the one, okay? Uh, we got the Pickleball Academy started, started giving lessons in 2020. We got the league formed in 2021, so everybody could meet everybody. And I think the majority of people in here, it's amazing how many people you meet when you get in this thing and you see people you've never seen before. And you, they start bringing people in, so... So we did that and then we formed the club because I wanted to be able to people go play in a tournament and they didn't have no clue who Huntington was, right? So I said, we need to have a Huntington Pickleball Club so they know who Huntington Pickleball Club is. We went down to the seniors event last year and everybody was going, God, them Huntington Pickleball Club people are everywhere. How many was there? Three, Three of us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had our shirts, we walked around. They thought, man, there must have been a whole army of Huntington Pickleball Club people, okay? so. Yeah, that's the reason. Um, last year we had three people qualified for the seniors, national seniors. Uh, this year we had 10 people and we had three uh, foster kids, okay? So will all the people going to the nationals 
please stand up so you can see people going to the nationals out of our club. Stand up. Stand up. There you go. Good stuff. So you got Kenny Clemens, pastor, uh, Mindy Backus, Mike Bentley, he's not here, Steve Morris, Linda Holmes, Diane Clark, Chris and Don Legro, and then we had Fritz from Shredo and Sherry Muncie and Jeff Purcell from uh, Taze Valley area. Okay? So there you go. Um, that's a pretty good growth. Uh, U.S. Open is a not a qualifier. The National Seniors is a qualifier. The U.S. Open is just a you put your name in a hat and 5,000 people put their name in a hat and they only pick like 2,500 out of the lottery. And I really don't know how they do it. I just know that we put our names in and we didn't get picked out for doubles. We didn't get picked out for mixed doubles. Uh, but I got picked out for singles, so I'll be playing singles. Uh, Cam Brown, who's not here, got picked out for singles, so he'll be playing singles. Uh, Chris and Don, where's Chris at? Chris ain't here. We got Don, he's gonna be playing doubles, okay? Uh, Vic and his boy, uh, Drew, uh, is gonna be playing doubles. So we got two, four, six people going for the, for the US Open, so that's pretty cool, okay? <laughs> I hate your phone. You gotta keep tapping. This is it. my daughter Melissa. I can say anything I want to to her. <laughs> you gotta keep tapping it. Um, so, so there you go. Um, nursing home out there, so be careful. Okay. Uh, so this year, I would like to see, try to figure out, and y'all gave all those papers back to me, and I really didn't really want you to, but you got my text number. I want you to text me, okay? If you can't remember this, put it in your phone right now. Remember, I want you to text me if you're interested in participating in a club versus club. In other words, Huntington versus Charleston, Huntington versus Parkersburg, Huntington versus Ashland, okay? You may not be interested in something like that, okay? But I want you to text me and tell me if you are, okay? So that when I'm talking to them, we'll know what level you are and if they had those people that would want to do it so forth so we can work out something like that, okay? Uh, 304-633-4260 and if you are new and you've not received a text from me please take that number down and text me that I appreciate it because when I send out text it's individual text because I can't put everybody on one text because it only holds so many okay so I'm sitting there individually, copy, paste, text, copy, paste, text, copy, paste, text. Yeah, that's funny. So, so if you ever get a text from me, you can bet the other, however many people got texts the same thing, okay? Uh, so here's some dates you can put in your calendar. Um, April 8th, I'd like to do a thing at Ritter Park at noon. Everybody that's going to play in a league, I'd like you to come, meet your partner, okay? Because partners are going to be randomly drawn, okay? And the way the league's going to work this year is different than it worked last year. Last year it was six weeks we played men's doubles, six weeks we played women's doubles, six weeks we played mixed doubles. This week's not going to be that way because we had challenges with people getting with each other in six weeks. And, Here's what I'm saying to you. If you join the league, listen to me real hard. If you join the league and I text you and I say, hey, Melissa, do you and your partner think we could play Saturday at 9 o'clock in the morning? And I don't hear back from you for three days. And I know you got a cell phone. <laughs> and if you're in the league, you should respond to that person and respect them enough to say, no, I can't play. So they can make plans, Okay. Maybe they need to make new plans and say, okay, if nine's not good, when would be good for you? Communicate. Don't treat the person in the league that you're trying to get a hold of like, you know, okay, do me that favor. Or don't get in the league. I'm just going to be real with you. Just don't get in the league. It's a pain in the rear to text somebody and they don't respond for two days. And you're trying to make plans for your family, your life, your job, and the match for pickleball. Okay? You with me? Is everybody good with that? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Let me hold it, and then I'll give no, it to you. No, you're not ready. holding it. <laughs> just, get a just get a different phone. 
Okay, so April 8th, we'll, we'll have a little pizza party. It'll be at noon. Come get your pizza. We'll introduce, and then we can play. You can get to play with your partner. And we'll just have a good fun day out of April 8th. And at that time, um, we'll have other people that have joined the league by then. We'll have joined that aren't here. There are numerous people that are not here. And we'll have all the people that want to play, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, in advance. If I've never seen you play, I get to see you play that day. And if you said you're a beginner and I watch you and I go, Hark, you ain't a beginner. You're an intermediate. You ain't playing with the beginners. You're an intermediate. And then if you say, I ain't playing intermediate, fine, you ain't playing. Because you're not a beginner. Okay? Now, I bring that up because Cerrito's got this thing. And I talked to the mayor yesterday or the day before. I don't know when. But... I said, Mayor, you all got this Cerrito tournament at 3.0, 4.0, and, and open. Well, 3.0 should really just be beginners. But I hear of some people's names that are in the 3.0 that are no way a beginner, okay? And I said, you need to, to make sure your tournament director, whoever that tournament director is, looks at that name and calls them up and says, Hark, you're not playing 3.0. Do you still want to play? Because you're an intermediate. We're putting you in intermediate. And he said, he said, I understand. He said, they, they put the numbers down. I said, I'm just saying that because I have people asking me. They're like, I'm not going to play in 4.0 because they're not a 4.0, okay? But they don't understand that that's really an intermediate per se, not a 4.0. You with me? Okay. So. I'm so <laughs> I told you to let me hold it and I'll give it to you. With, with that in mind. Uh, we'll have beginners, intermediates, and advanced in our club. There won't be a 3.0, 3.5, 4.0. And if I feel like you've really advanced into the advanced, then we're going to move you up to the advanced, okay? So, anyway, that's the way it works. April 29th, Lions Club fundraiser. Mindy Backus is right there. If you have not signed up, it will be the greatest tournament for you to enter if you've never been in a tournament before. Okay? Gives you some fun tournament, only $20, supporting the Lions Club. You won't find a tournament anywhere that you can pay just $20. Yeah. Trust me. Okay? So I recommend if anybody even thinks about just having some fun in a tournament, get in that at least minimum if you didn't do anything else this year because for 20 bucks a day of pickleball, fun, and she's giving everybody that shows up a gift card. So anyway. What? <laughs> what? Well, we don't know until we, you got to find out how many people is going to get in at first. Once that finds out, if you text and say, I want to get in it, then we know. And then she'll text back and tell you when it starts. And then, then if you say, I don't want to do it, then you can say, I don't want to do it. And if one, winners do get gift cards. The winners in the division. Oh, that, that was a slip of tongue. Up. Slip of tongue. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's not getting gift cards. I was just joking. Okay. Uh, right. And if they, um, if you have glasses at home that you don't use, um, please bring them because that's what the Lions Club does. Still collect glasses and um, like glasses, glasses. Yes, yes. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? If anybody's got any old glasses that you don't ever use, bring them that day and give them to the Lions Club. Uh, next uh, event for the year is May fifth, sixth, and seventh. It doesn't mean you'll play every day. Go to the Cerrito. Call the Cerrito Town Hall, get the information. Likewise, I, I've sent out text messages to most everybody on this, but uh, that's the one I was talking about. If it says 3.0, 4.0, and open, 3.0 is beginner. 4.0 is intermediate, and open is anybody wants to play, take on the big boys, basically. Okay? Uh, April 10th and 13th is a tournament in Cincinnati. There's a few of you going. I think Steve's going. Uh, Diane's going. Kenny's going. Uh, uh, that is May uh, April 10th through the 13th. I'm sorry. May 10th through the 13th? Huh? May 12th. Okay, May 10th through the 13th then. Yeah, look it up. Okay, anyway. But anyway, what I was saying is some of us might go down just to watch these guys play, okay? Um, we're too scared to get in it, but they're going to take the hit. Uh, 
I do joke a lot, so you might know that was a joke. We ain't scared, okay? Um, June 2nd, for some of you all older than 50, raise your hand if you're over 50. Oh, that's almost the whole room, okay? <laughs> June, June 2nd, put it on your calendar. It's a Friday. We'll go to Charleston, play in the Seniors Olympics. Charleston, okay? You get to play your age bracket, like 65 to 69, I get to play in, 55, 59, you get to play your age bracket, okay? Uh, July 21 through 23 is gonna be a tournament in Nitro, they're building new courts, they're gonna have a tournament that weekend. Sounds like it's gonna be a good tournament because they're giving away cash prize money, okay? What day was it? July 21 through 23. September 15th through 17th. Now, I'm just giving you these dates so you can put on your calendar. You can get more information later. But September 15th through 17th is the Ashland Tournament. They have a good tournament every year, okay? I encourage you to go uh, get in that. Uh, who all played National Tournament last year? Raise your hand. There you go, okay. Uh, who all won National Tournament? Raise your hand. There you go. HPC. Um, October 7th, put on your calendar, that's the league club championship, October 7th. That's the top players from every league, women's doubles, men's doubles, mixed doubles, men's singles, women's singles. The top players will play in a regular tournament atmosphere on October 7th, okay? And that's what we're giving out tonight is last year's 2022 uh, uh, tournament. Um, all right, now we got to talk about Ritter Park, okay? <laughs> all right, Ritter Park. Um, it gets full, and we've got to use that paddle rack. I've used it in other parts of the country. Some of y'all have used it in other parts of the country. Um, normally, when we walk into the door, we go sit down somewhere where we're gonna play, okay? You don't do that no more. You go put a paddle in the rack, okay? If you don't have a paddle in the rack, you don't get to play. That's what the rules say right there at the fence, okay? So I'm not making these rules up. It's on the fence. If you don't have a paddle in there, you can't just get up and go play with somebody. No, whoever's paddle, who, next four people, the people get to play, okay? So we have got to educate all the people that are not in the club when they're out there playing for four hours straight on one court. We got to educate them. Be real simple. If everybody here will educate them. The way we educate them is you take your paddle and put it on the rack. They see how it's done. And then somebody nicely goes to them and says, look, you know, I don't know if you read the rules over there, but see all those paddles over there? When you're done, you just go put your paddle in and then you'll be waiting next, next open court you'll get to get on based on the paddles, okay? So we got six courts going, six courts full, uh, probably 10 minutes at the most, I'd say, any one court, it would take them to play a game. So you're waiting 10 minutes. If you're the next one in line, you get on. The next person, the next person. So it probably just starts every three or four minutes, probably a court opens, okay? So there shouldn't be a whole lot of waiting time. I wanna to introduce to you one of my first students ever, all the way from Florida, Jim Klein, come up here. Good to see you, buddy. Likewise. Come over here so we can get you on video. Right here. Okay. Jim uh, first started playing. You know, I give him lessons, and then he goes and hurts his hamstring, and then he goes and hurts his knee, and then he hurts his leg, and then he hurts his head. He hurt everything I can imagine. Every time I turn around, he's hurt, okay? But he's not hurt no more. He's down from Florida playing every day. And tell him about paddle rack. Do you use it? Yeah, I, uh, we're, we relocated to a community called Bradenton, Florida. And, um, you know, I've played five to six days a week since, since I got there in September. I've wore a long sleeve t-shirt twice the whole winter. And the rest of the time has been a tank top and shorts. So I, you've got a lot of tournaments going here. When, when, the, when the leaves start changing colors and the temperature starts dropping, 
come to our location because we've got tournaments every single week. But um, the particular club that I'm a part of is called Lakewood Ranch. We have 900, over 900 members in our pickleball club. Um, the, these communities, a lot of these communities have their own private courts. But we play at a public court uh, uh, consisting of five courts. Uh, each court has its own gate. Um, each court has its own paddle system, which is basically four tubes of PVC that you put your pipe, your paddle in. The unique thing about our community is a vast majority of these folks only come to this part of Florida from November to like April. We, they call them snowbirds down there. And these folks primarily are from all up and down the east coast of the United States and the, and the Midwest, in Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan. But the point I was telling Ken at lunch was this paddle system in all these months I've been watching and, and, and our courts are very, very big, busy beginning at eight o'clock in the morning. I have yet to see a single instance of individuals getting upset or, or not um, you know, acting responsibly uh, with the paddle system. So once it's implemented and people are aware it absolutely works um, seamlessly, uh, you know, eliminates any, any ill will between players, and obviously most everybody here are locals, so you're not having the situations that we have where they're not locals. So I would encourage you to use the, uh, the paddle system uh, religiously, uh, and uh, the turnover uh, is uh, very effective, um, not a lot of standing around, and we have we have everything from two fives to to six O's playing down there. So, so now they come from other parts of the country, so they're kind of used to it because this is, happens all over, right? Yeah, I mean the vast majority of the folks I've met are principally New York and New Jersey, and you know those individuals are very street savvy. Let's let's call it like it is, and uh, even those folks respect the system. So obviously it's being employed uh, in places other than just Huntington. But um, so Ken just asked Thank me to, to encourage you guys Appreciate to use it. So Appreciate good it. seeing everybody. And so the question being that, um, did you mention uh, just before the check out for a second, that are there like um, the beginner, intermediate, and open? Our particular set, there may be those types of courts. I mean, we are blessed with hundreds of courts in that area. There may be those types of courts. We don't employ any, any skill level court. We don't employ a challenge court. It's all open play from dawn to dusk and, and weekends as well. Yeah, the court, the, where Willie and I've been, they are, you, you go to this court if you are a beginner. You go to this court yeah. if you're- There are courts like that. that in, in, in the town of Bradenton is a park called GT Bray. I mean, major tournaments play there. They do employ that. that process. Thank you, Jim. You're Appreciate welcome. Thank you. Now, when I was in Seattle, they, their paddle system was setting it on the set. I was in an indoor because it was cold when I went this, this Christmas. They would put the paddles on the bleacher. There's a bleacher. They put a paddles like this. Okay. And when they saw me and I played, they saw I was pretty decent. So these guys would come over and say, hey, give me your paddle because you can play in my group. Okay, fine. Here. So when they put their paddles down, those are four paddles, but they were all people going to play together. They just put their four paddles together. So when it come time to play, they always play together, which there's nothing wrong with doing that, okay? So if you want to keep the same four people together, you just make sure you put the four paddles together, okay? You talk too much. All right, so <laughs> let's give away uh, uh, something here. Start with the service award. I can't believe Chris is not here, Dawn. I know. I'm gonna kill him. I will take any trophy. <laughs> this is most improved. 
most improved. I watch you all play all year long. And this guy, he's a good player, no question. But when I first saw him, he'd get out there with Dawn, and they'd be hitting. He played tennis. He used to play tennis. He just, he just couldn't, couldn't play that pickleball in the beginning. But if you watch him play today, Chris LeGrow. Yeah. All right. And don't leave because I want pictures with you. Okay? And this person, that was the guy most approved. This is the woman most approved. I don't think she has any background at all in sports. <laughs> I think she probably ran around with the guys all the time, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I've been giving her lessons for at least a year, okay? But there's no question in my mind, when you watch her play now, she is the most improved. Anybody know? Melanie Gleason. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to put her in the advanced group yet, oh, but she's the most approved. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> she said it was two years. <laughs> now, some people maintain the courts. You know, they pick stuff up. All of you do. You pick up water. You pick up things. I empty the trash can. But we don't do what this guy does, okay? He, he's going to get the Lifetime Service Award, okay? Amen. Anybody know who it is? Yeah. Come on, dude. Right here, so pray for him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, some of y'all, you know, you played in that tournament last year, and, and you beat up on people. Some of you played in it, and didn't beat up on people. Well, these are the top three finishers. So don't run off. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. Give them a hand. Yeah. Second place. Men's doubles beginners, Terry Caldwell, Aaron Rice. Terry Caldwell, Aaron Rice. Aaron's, come on, Aaron. Terry's not here. Well, that's his tough luck. Good job, Aaron. Silver. Gold medal. Bob Stanton and Dale Fitzwater. Woo! I think Bob Stanton's out of town.
Thank you. Okay, women's doubles, beginners. We didn't have a third place for whatever reason. I can't remember. Maybe we didn't have that many people. We got a second place, uh, Debbie Hoback and Linda Hensley, and I think both of them are gone. So they're second place. And first place, Karen Dixon and Velda Michaels. All right. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, perfect. Are you taking Karen? Yeah. I'm going to check it off. All right, women's intermediate. Third place, Danita Miller and Cindy Goo. Cindy not here. I got third place right here. I don't know. I got third place right here. Good job, man. Thank you. Second place, uh, women's intermediate, Vicki Tardy and Pam Conrad. First place, Melissa Pemberton and Diane Clark. You're going to the National Seniors for the no. next time. <laughs> Women's singles, third place, Ashley Deals. She's not here, I don't believe. Okay, give it to, give it to her dad, right here. Oh, oh I got 30. Yeah, yeah, Ashley. <laughs> Second place, Dawn LeGros. Second place. In first place, she's not here, Emma Seaman. All right, yeah, Emma. Men single. Just wanted to let you know I didn't enter this. Third place, Noah Compton. He's not here, I don't think. Yay, Noah. Second place, Chris Legro. He decided Yay, not Chris. to show up. First place, Canyon Nelson. Yay. Men's intermediate. First, uh, third place, Tim Smith, Kenny Clemens. All right. Congratulations, Tim. Thank you. Good job, Tim. Uh, sick guy over there named Lloyd McGuffin got second. All right, Lloyd. Congratulations, Tim. Go Kenday. Yay! Second place, Lloyd McGuffin and Tom Cannon. Oh. All right. He got second, silver. Lloyd's Lloyd. man. Give Lloyd. Him a hand. <laughs> Women's advance. Um, third place, uh, Ashley Deals, Mindy Backus. <laughs> you going to take Ashley's? Yeah. You're looking so good today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, second place, Emma Seaman again, and Dawn LeGro. Yeah, Dawn. And women's advance. 
dance first place, Linda Holmes, Sam yeah. Prince. Men's advanced doubles. Third place in Florida, Randy Ward, Blake Spangler. Men's advanced doubles, second place, Chris LeGro. Ken Bermerton, Mindy Backus. And first place, mixed advanced, Linda Holmes and Willie Hart. Diane Clark, Tom Cannon. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Your phone again. I think that was the end. Now we had a dink contest, but it was just like an ad lib thing. So. I think I never wrote anything down because we just kind of threw it together at the end. Oh, you only gave her silver. Oh, wow. Gold. Wow. So, uh, so anyway, I think Linda won it, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. Who was your partner? Who was your partner? It was that one she got. Oh, oh All right. Come on, we give you gold medal. <laughs> give him a gold medal. I, I, I didn't remember who won it, but I would have never dreamed you two were going. Of course we did. I think <laughs> twice, right? Yeah, maybe so. And maybe we'll do that more often this summer. We'll have a few more dink contests. <laughs> you got to learn how to dink. Might as well get under pressure. Dinking under pressure, okay? All right, so that's good. Oh, He's only here about an hour. Let's see here. Let's see if I missed anything. Okay, yeah, on the application, on the bottom of the application, it said community service donations. Optional, okay? Um, 
We have $1,400 we collected from last year, okay? We've not done nothing with it. So everybody's got my cell phone number. If you have a thought as to how you want to distribute some money, let me know. I prefer, I've been watching a lot of YouTube on this, and I see people on the streets giving away money to somebody that's just like really struggling or they've got four kids and they're all these, I don't know how you give away. I, I mean, I, my thinking was go to a gas station, put my honey pickleball shirt on, have two or three of us, and somebody's pumping gas and just kind of talk to them. Hey, have you ever heard about pickleball? And, and then, well, things are tough and so forth. Here. Okay. So I want you to put down what you think how we should give this money away. And any monies that you want to donate to that, when you come April 8th, okay, you can donate it there or at least pledge it there so we'll have an idea of how much to give away. Okay? So there you go. You're done. I'm pretty satisfied with what I've got. <laughs> Everybody's ready to leave. Siri told you it's time to go. Siri knows. It said pretty much everything you said is You're satisfied. You said, I'm pretty satisfied with, with everything you said. <laughs> okay. So, I want to get individual pictures with the winners, okay? But I want to get group picture too. So, when we leave, let's go out into the hallway and let's try and get us a group picture out in the hallway. So don't just go out and leave, okay? Uh, Mike Bentley, I want to point out, Mike Bentley sells. What about the external kit? Yeah, we could go right up there. That'd be good. Get up there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Right there. Uh, we'll look at this number one. Philip said he'd choreograph it. Oh. Uh, Mike Bentley is a distributor for Gearbox. If anybody's interested in the Gearbox paddles, he's one of our members. If you don't know his number, you want to check it out if you're in the market for paddles. Okay. Uh, What's that? Like and share Facebook page. Huntington Pickleball. HuntingtonPickleballClub.com uh, Facebook page. Huntington Pickleball Club, I guess. I don't do a lot on those Facebook things. I, I post like events or something, terms. Don't forget the Lions Club. If you want more information, Lions Club got a flyer up here, but at least get in that if you've never been in a tournament before. Even if you're a beginner, you got beginner uh, stuff. Any questions? All right, let's get, let's get a group picture. Everybody get up here on stage. I'll put a text out for that. I got it. Well, you gotta be in it, so I'll you take do it. You too. Well, no, I'm fine. I'll take it. I'm good. You don't need my pretty cell phone. Oh, there you go. I want a video of this. Yeah. I'm gonna put this on there so people can see it didn't show up. Right here? Yep. You'll pay me another time. Yes, sir. Uh, yep, looks good. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at these people. They act like they know what they're doing. Truly, they act like they know what they're doing.